Hello everybody, welcome to FC. I'm across the French channel. This is your boy and Joe. Welcome back. So guys, I'd like to thank you for the support. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for the comments as well. You suggesting that I should get another mic, a sound I must fix. Guys, I'm working on that. But yeah, if you feel like God has touched your soul and you feel like blessing me, please do so. Because at the moment, I cannot afford to do that. I cannot afford to buy a mic. Yeah, because of so many other reasons. But yeah, I need sponsors as well. I need lights. I need mics. I need all those things. So if you feel like God has touched your heart, please do so. Thank you. But yeah, today I'm going to be talking about a few transfers that you have made already. I'm going to start by Pule Modi. Pule Modi, a deal is in advanced stages if he hasn't signed already. Pule Modi is a guy who comes from Golden Arrows. This guy, I remember last season, we wanted him. And Mando said, no, it does, she doesn't want to let go of him. And then guess what? We're going to get him for free. Because they offered him a contract extension and he, he refused. He said he doesn't want to do that. And then the agent apparently offered him to Orlando Pirates. And he said that, no, I am not going there. I want to play for Kaiser Chiefs. How many times have we beaten our ash drivers for a signature? How many times have we signed players who want to come and play for us? Not for a paycheck, but who wants to play for the love and peace. Players who give their all. Players who run their socks down and leave everything there on the pitch and die for the team. It hasn't been seen in so many times that we, we sign such players. I mean, I even thought that such players don't exist anymore because we've been signing players that seem to be coming for the paycheck. But Pule Modi seems to be a different player. Not only him, the other players as well. So this is a speedy winger who's tricky, dribble past the players, and this is a winger also who can contribute. He scores, he creates. He's been of late, he hasn't been on form, but the other season he was playing well, he contributed so much. And we need those players who can take the weight of the strikers. Can say, okay, you know what, strikers, as much as you're not scoring, let me chip in a goal or two. As they are doing that, the team is winning. We need such players in our team. We haven't had so many players like this on the wing who come in and score goals, who create so many goals. We've been playing direct football, crossing, uh, which our, our cross are not pinpointed. Like, yeah, we've been wasting our crosses. So if this is the guy who can come in, either play on the right or play on the left, on the left when he plays on the left, cuts inside, he crosses or he scores by himself. So, pulling what it looks like he's an interesting player i would say that this guy might come and get the starting lineup why so because we don't have wingers we do not have wingers according to me the wingers that we have it's dolly we have um, this guy sahota which was underused last season and then sefama is rumored to be back as well from uh, his loan contract can he play? Can he be sold? Can he be loaned again? But as for me, I'll also keep him because he's another winger. I'll give him that chance to compete with Bullet Modi on the right. If not on the right, on the left as inverted wingers. Nowadays, guys, we play inverted wingers. Your Marcus Rashford, your Marias, uh, your Grealish, you name them, they're inverted wingers. So if you can have inverted wingers who can come inside and score goals and create others and cause havoc for defenders. Sefama can be that player. Bulimodi can be that player. Sakhota can be that player on, on the right. So, he rejected the contract like I said and even ditch his current agent, guys, to make sure that he fulfills his dream to play for Keza Chiefs. Another guy that we signed that was rumored to, to be going to Orlando Pirates. Oh, what? Oh, Orlando Pirates wanted him, giving him Simam, the TS Galassi center back, right footed center back. 
this guy's side with us, I mean guys, he's quality. How many times did he score against us, Kaiser Chiefs? How many minutes did he play? How many minutes did he miss for that matter? He's a quality footballer who's calm on the ball, who's comfortable on the ball. If we want to play from the back, we can build play from with him. We can build play with him. We can build play with uh, uh, um, your left-footed centre-back and pass amongst themselves. Not what we, we, we saw last season where uh, you give your Zeta a ball and then they don't know what to do with it. Sometimes they are too comfortable and then they lose it like that. There will be serious competition in our club. There will be serious competition at the back because we have bought so many defenders. Hopefully the coach will be able to use them. Who's going to be the coach? Only Kaiser Chief can tell us. Only Kaiser Chief's management can tell us who's going to be the coach. But as for me, I would love to be a different coach who has a different philosophy. Uh, different style of play. So, another guy is Ranga Chivaviro. Chivaviro was rumored as well to be offered to Orlando Paris, but he said, no, I am not going there. This is what I love about these players, and this is what will make me love them even more, that they want to play for our team. They are not here for paycheck. They are not here to be on a holiday and come and end and then they go and live their lives. But they are here to die for our team. He's a good striker, he's comfortable on the ball, and he can score, he can take on players. We are yet to see the best of him around playing around quality. I mean, Kaiser Chiefs, we have quality if you know how to use your players. It's like you going out to buy ingredients, like proper proper ingredients to say that you want to make lasagna but if you have never done lasagna and you don't want to learn how to make lasagna you want to make something which i don't know you can even make pasta for that mat so we need a coach who can be able to create and cook lasagna and if you have the ingredients you can have the best lasagna anyway guys Another player that uh, we have signed, Castillo, at Sim. He's rumored to be having to have signed two years deal. He's gonna join join uh, the Giants at the end of the month. And then Tatoyana, the Thorco guys. This is another player that I am happy that we signed because he belongs to Super Sport. Why am I happy that we signed him? under Super Sports or from Super Sports is the fact that Stan Matthews doesn't want to sign to Kaiser Chiefs. Each time that we want a player, Super Sports United will call these amounts, large sum amounts which are unjustified. The fact that he signed a pre-contract with us, we are saying, in your face, Stan Matthews. In your face. If, if, if it means this is the way that you're going to sign players going forward from Super Sports, we'll continue doing this because we don't want to sell to us. His left foot at centre back as well is going to be competing with your Dove. It's going to be competing with um, Dove. It's going to be competing with Msimango. Don't know how the coach prefers to play, but as for me, I would love to play a right foot at centre back and a left foot at centre back. These are the guys who will be comfortable on the ball. These are the guys who will be able to shield or to cover your left wing. Oh, you right, right wing. These are the guys that who can just simply be comfortable to play on the right because they are playing on the side that they are fully strong on. To give that balance, you need a left-footed centre back and the right-footed centre back to give that balance. Like how how European teams do nowadays, how your Manchester United do when they play uh, on the on the left, they'll play either sure if this guy Martinez is, is injured right to play Varane if he's injured they'll play not Maguire guys <laughs> they will play uh Lindelof that's how football is developed now that's how football has come to be to have right players playing on the positions that they are strong at if you are left you play on the left if you are right play on the right especially at the back and then we have signed as well to Duzi Danzan 
this is why I am like we bought world, we've bought experience because we have bought leaders as well. This guy, Msimambo, was a leader, was a captain in TS Galax. This guy, Tato, was a leader, a captain, and he's a captain in, in Botswana International Team. But because Danzani is a leader, or was a leader in Cape Town. So, to build a team, you need to buy leaders. If not leaders, but you must have already have leaders in your team. This is how European teams do it, guys. They buy leaders to create a strong team, to create a disciplined team, to create a structured team. People will be able to help the youngsters on and off the field, to guide them how to behave on and off the field. This is how your big teams like Emmanuel De Santos are. They've bought players like your label, so they've bought so many players who are leaders in, in their previous teams. That's how you do it. That's how you win against these teams because you need people who are matured. You need leaders to help the youngsters to come in and remember that, you know what, they are there because they deserve it. They are not there because someone is doing them a favor. Someone will encourage them. Someone will boost that ego, will boost that pride, the good pride of saying that, you know what, we know what you're capable of. You can do it. Go and attack this place. You can make a mistake, it's fine. Come back and try again. That's why your Ganacho are succeeding. Because they have good players around them. Bruno Fernandes, they have your, 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 your Marcus Rashford has been there for a number of years as well to encourage them. Go forward, try again. That's what you need experience versus you. That's what you need experience and good. Get it together. Uh, uh, mix it together very well and get a strong and a good team. Buying leaders, I am for that going forward. Buying young players, I'm also for that, but mix that very well and get that balance and you'll have a good team and you'll have a successful team. Kaiser Chiefs is going to be a successful team this season. Not because of trophies. If we win a trophy, I'll be happy, but because they will have guys who build these young guys guys who will perform at the highest, guys who will give their all, guys who will be respectful, guys who will have the young players to be respectful and to perform on and off the field. Guys, I'm so excited about the season going forward. I hope and pray that you're going to get a good coach who will be able to use these ingredients to cook lasagna. Remember to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you guys. Till next time. Yeah, well.